then state your name and affiliation before asking your question, and please direct your question to a specific student athlete. All right, we're now joined by uh, sophomore Emily Ryan and senior Ashley Jones from Iowa State University. So uh, if you have a question, please uh, raise your hand. Tommy Burge, Des Moines Register. Uh, this is for Ashley and Emily. Um, I believe over the summer or the off season, Coach Fenley, or maybe it was one of you guys, put up the score of the Texas A&M game on the scoreboard and left it on at the pr practice facility. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Coach Fenley had the score up on the scoreboard for, during our practices and on the back of our shirts it said, remember the Alamo, and had the score on it. So just kind of a mental reminder of where we were last year and uh, kind of what we don't want to do again this year and uh, just taking that next step forward and use it as motivation. And that was during summer workouts? Yeah. How much did that motivate you guys, this is for both of you to, I guess, like you had said, not have that happen again. Let's start with Emily. Yeah, no, um, just knowing how um, close we were to winning that game last year and how um, it made us focus on what, how important the little things are. And that's something we focused on a lot this summer is that any little um, play or any little detail can change the outcome of a game. So um, having that reminder just was something that was in the back of our mind all summer and kept us motivated. Ashley, do you have anything to add to that? Uh, no, just kind of like what Emily said, uh, just knowing that you have to play till the very end and every little thing in the game matters. So you just have to go out, play as hard as you can, uh, really buy into the scouting report. Rob Gray, Cedar Rapids Gazette. This is for Ashley. Um, talked a lot about what it means to host these first two rounds. And I mean, and you often talk, all of you guys talk about not taking anything for granted. Just how special is that? knowing that you not only have the fan support for you guys, but these are women's basketball fans that are going to show up for probably a lot of these games, or all of them. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's really great when we get to host. We have some of the best fans in the country, so uh, just to be able to play at Hilton again and uh, get our fans in here, and I know they're excited and we're excited, so it will be a lot of fun, and we just have to uh, focus in and uh, get ready to play. Uh, Connor Ferguson, Cyclone Fanatic. Ashley, this is kind of more so for you. I know you guys draw a lot of motivation from that game uh, in San Antonio last year. Uh, if you kind of go back to 2019 when you guys hosted here uh, and lost to Missouri State in the round of 32, that, does that kind of uh, stay in your mind, keep the motivation of like nothing's guaranteed in this tournament, it's still a tournament at the end of the day? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, you remember uh, all the little plays and everything that happens, but you can't really uh, – dwell on it you have to continue moving on and trying to get better and so just knowing uh that you can't take any team for granted every team's going to go out and give everything they have so you just have to you have to do the same go out and compete and uh like i said focus on our scouting report and come ready to go hi guys scott rice from kcci I, I pretty much know you're going to answer this based on what you were just talking about about not looking past anybody but it's impossible for everybody else not to see greensboro lurking and possible Seahawks showdown. Have you guys caught yourself at all or anybody else on the team like, hey, let's make it and maybe see Iowa or anything like that? Or is that just so far not even in your mindset at all? I'd like to hear what both of you guys have to say. Let's go to Emily first. Yeah, no, that that's honestly not anything we're focused on at all. We're really focused on UT Arlington and preparing the best we can for them and trying to win that game. That's um, our biggest focus right now. Yeah, like Emily said, we have UT Arlington first. You can't uh, overlook them. They're a good team, so we just have to focus on that right now and get ready to play for that one. And for Emily and Ashley, what has the scout revealed about UT Arlington, what they've got, and kind of what you have to be concerned with? Let's start with Emily again. Yeah, uh, they're a really talented team. They're in the NCAA tournament for a reason. Um, they won their conference tournament easily. They didn't have any trouble. And they have their uh, conference player of the year on their team as well. So um, we're going to have to really focus and um, play our scout, uh, focus our scout team and do what we can um, to limit what they do best and see what that takes us. Have, uh, this is for either of you guys. Have you looked at um, 
Star Jacobs for UT Arlington at all. And I know uh, your game plan kind of surrounds, you know, if they got a star player that produces a lot of scoring, we're going to let them get theirs uh, and kind of focus on everyone around them. Have you guys uh, looked at how you're going to approach that? Let's go to Ashley and then Emily. Yeah, uh, we've scouted and uh, we know she's a really good player, so we just have to stay in front of her, uh, kind of limit her shots and uh, box out and rebound. I think that's the big thing. Also getting rebounds, helping us uh, get some defensive rebounds to use in our offense as well. Yeah, uh, Star Jacobs is obviously a great player. Um, like I mentioned, player of the year in their conference. So um, we know we have to focus really hard on her, but um, it's not just her either. They have a lot of solid pieces around her too. So um, we really have to focus in on each individual person and try to take away their strengths. Emily, what's this like getting to play, uh, you know, knowing that, I mean, you guys are a top 10 program, everyone's watching all season long, but I mean, this is the NCAA tournament. I mean, this is, seems like the bright lights are really shining. As a competitor, does it, I don't know, add a little more juice to you and what's this experience going to be like, do you think? 